Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. Let's go on to your official first choice. Now, this is a choice. This choice is an innovative radio station at the very heart, I believe, of Britain's thriving rock and pop industry. So let's bring it round. Wake up. Good old Radio 2, Angus. Yes. What could you possibly, possibly dislike about Radio 2? Well, I just have failed to see over the years what uh, it provides that people could possibly want. <laughs> um, I mean, I've never actually met anyone who claims to listen to Radio 2. So I think it's probably a conspiracy that, in fact, no one listens to Radio 2 and they just make up the figures. Have you ever actually met anyone who... Um... Well, no, but I don't think it's the, thing, uh, the sort of thing that you happily admit to, is it? You know, just because they haven't admitted it doesn't mean that they don't do it, does it? No, that is true, mm. but uh, because it's true, I'm going to dismiss it out of hand. Okay. That's not... <laughs> That seems fair enough. Well, I'll be working on the same basis throughout the show as oh, well. Right. So okay. that's yes, I've seen fine. the show before. I realise how it works. Yeah. Mm. Um, I remember I had an auntie who used to listen to Radio 2 all the time, and when I was about 17, I was going up to Scotland with her, and it was, she used to drive incredibly slowly, and so I had to listen to Radio 2 for hours and hours and hours, and it was like gardening tips and legal eagle coming in all the time and mantavani and... and um, uh, always mantavani. Always mantavani. And then it got to about 7 o'clock, and I was, I was like catatonic, I was dying <laughs> of boredom. And this bloke said, and now it's time to take it down a gear on Radio 2. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, how? It's reverse, I yeah. think that probably means. <laughs> well, how, how would you like to see it pepped up? I mean, uh, Radio 1 have brought in Chris Evans. Who would you like Radio 2 to bring in? Ken Barlow, maybe? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Steve Davis would make Steve it more interesting. <laughs> Anyone, probably, would make it more interesting. Definitely. If we have a look at this, in fact, this is the Radio 2 Roadshow. And this is the audience here. <laughs> They're slightly young, actually, for a Radio 2 audience. Like, went to, you know, there's a, there's a BBC uh, shop next mm. to Broadcasting House that sort of sells memorabilia. And it said, sale of Radio 2 memorabilia now on. And I thought, what Radio 2 memorabilia would they have? Like, Radio 2 chairlift. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so a Radio 2 cardigan, Yes. <laughs> Radio 2, big slipper, you can put both feet in. <laughs> but, um, the thing is, it, it, it does give sort of ageing broadcasters somewhere to go and, you know, and, and earn a living. If we have a look who's, who's doing it now, good old, old Jimmy Young. Well, yeah, Jimmy must be 101 now. He's, <laughs> he's going to have to be, you know, replaced eventually, isn't he? I don't know. I think they... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so the secret is out. Yeah. Yes, I, I take over from Charlie Chester on Sunday. <laughs> We're going to put Radio Two into Room One Hundred and One. I think you are. Yes, I think so. Yes. Okay, so um, I share your feeling. And on the top, we'll put uh, the unmistakable face of Radio Two. There he is. <laughs> the ugly face of broadcasting. <laughs> Do we mean him? We surely we do. do. Yes. <laughs> We're going to send that into Room 101. Don't forget to have a little listen for what you might be able to hear in there as we say goodbye-bye to Radio 2. Excellent.